Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Philo Notes for another edition of our daily whiteboard. This is our last discussion about the introductory topics in symbolic logic. And for more daily whiteboard editions from Philo Notes, click here to subscribe. All right. So in today's edition, I will briefly discuss the topic tautologies and contradictions in symbolic logic. But please note that this is just an introductory discussion on tautologies and contradictions, as my main intention here is just to make students in logic become familiar with this topic. And so, let's start. On the one hand, a tautology is defined as a propositional formula that is true under any circumstance. In other words, a propositional expression is a tautology if and only if, for all possible assignments of truth values to its variables, its truth value is always true. Thus a tautology is a proposition that is always true. Let's consider this example. Either the accused is guilty or the accused is not guilty. P. Obviously, this proposition is a disjunction, yet both disjuncts can be represented by the variable P. Hence, the proposition is symbolized as P or not P. Now, in what sense that this proposition is always true? Let me use a truth table to prove this point. And so, if P is true, then not P is false. And if P is false, then not P is true. And if we apply the rules in both inclusive and exclusive disjunction, the result of P or not P is always true. If we recall our discussion on inclusive and exclusive disjunction, we learn that an inclusive disjunction is true if at least one of the disjuncts is true. And an exclusive disjunction is true if one disjunct is true and the other is false, or one disjunct is false and the other is true. Hence, there is no way that P or not P will become false. Indeed, the propositional form P or not P is always true. On the other hand, a contradiction is defined as a propositional formula that is always false under any circumstance. In other words, a propositional expression is a contradiction if and only if for all possible assignments of truth values to its variables, its truth value is always false. Thus again, a contradiction is a proposition that is always false. Let's consider this example. Man is both mortal and immortal. P. Obviously, this proposition is a conjunction, yet both conjuncts can be represented by the variable P. Hence, the proposition is symbolized as P and not P. Now, in what sense that this proposition is always false? Let me use again a truth table to prove this point. So, if P is true, then not P is false. And if P is false, then not P is true. And if we apply the rule in conjunction here, which says that a conjunction is true if and only if both conjuncts are true, then surely there is no way that the proposition man is both mortal and immortal or P or not P will become true. Indeed, the propositional form P and not P is always false. Alright, that's it for today. 
and we'll keep you updated of our daily whiteboard editions here at Philo Notes. Just simply click here to subscribe. Video transcripts are also available at philonotes.com. Thanks and take care.